guys, welcome to today's vlog. So today I've got my guest Toby, he's back from school. So I've done a haircut on him before. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit different, a little more clean cut. Um, slight disconnection, not really too much, definitely longer on top. But the cool thing about Toby's hair is it's nice and thick, coarse, wavy hair. So um, I think you guys will get a lot of techniques from that. We get out the texture scissors, we create texture on the top of his head. So a lot of techniques to come, hope you guys like it. Make sure you subscribe below if you haven't done that already, subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Love hearing positive feedback, anything uh, that you guys wanna see coming up. And also, if you have questions about this technique, make sure you post them. All right, guys, let's get started with the vlog. Here we go. All right, guys, so as you can see, Toby has not gotten a haircut probably since Christmas break. So um, he waits and waits until he comes back from school so I can give him a cut again, which is pretty cool. I've been doing his hair for a really long time. Uh, so I love having a guest like that. So we start off, I go in, I'm using a three and a half blade um, with my Andis Supra ZR Clipper. So this is one of the newest detachable blade clippers that Andis has to offer. Uh, it's super powerful. I love the detachable blades because of the power, but the problem is that they don't have half sizes for the most part as you work through. So sometimes you need a little extra help with fading. So I'll use the uh, Andis um, Master Series Clipper towards the end to get a little bit of a tighter fade. I'll also use a lot of scissor over comb techniques to also uh, fade the hair as well. So I like to use a few different tools as I'm working with men's hair. I'm not a barber. I don't do a lot of tight fading. Uh, this is a very standard haircut that I would do on a guy who comes in. So I use different tools to create the look. So we start off, again, I'm using a three and a half blade uh, from Andis. So uh, that's going to get a nice medium length for me. Then I'm going to go through, I'm using my YS Park 209 comb with the triple zero blade. And what I like about that is I get really tight to the comb. So basically where I'm holding the comb is where I'm going to cut. Um, and I go through and do a lot of clipper over comb work. I'm a, a clipper over comb guy. If you don't like doing that, you could fade this more with a blade or a guard if you wanted to. But I like going through and doing a little more freehand work uh, when as I'm fading the hair up. So really we're building up a graduated line with the clipper over comb. So the thing I like most about the 209 comb and using that to work through, first off, it's about the size of the clipper blade. It's a little bit smaller than that, but not much. So uh, I don't have to worry about falling off of the comb and cutting a hole in the hair. And also it's a really flexible comb. So as I'm working through, if I wanna get tighter to the skin and kind of fade out, then I can do that with this comb as well. We have it in all different colors on our website, freesaloneducation.com. Um, this is the white version. I like using a white one on darker hair. I like using the black comb on lighter hair. It just allows you to see the hair coming through the comb better. So again, working my way up. Now, one thing that you'll notice when I'm working clipper over comb, now that I'm on this side, I'm always trying to work the hair off away from the face. First off, you don't wanna throw hair into your client's face. But second, it's always good to be uh, working the hair in the same direction. So if I'm working the hair back off the head on the one side, I wanna do the same exact thing on the other side. So now this is where I was talking about, I'm going through, this is using a zero guard uh, with my Andis Master Series Clipper. Um, so just to tighten it up a little bit more around the hairline, give it a more natural hairline. This is something I've learned from putting out uh, quite a few different men's cutting videos. And the biggest comment usually is, why didn't you take that neckline a little tighter? So here you go, guys. We go a little bit tighter. Gives it a little more longevity. Um, really, when I think about why am I doing this, I'm doing it for Toby's sake because he doesn't come in for a haircut as often. So I go a little bit closer with it uh, and fade it up. Now we're going to go through, this is a YS Park spray bottle. Um, if you guys are interested in getting a spray bottle like this, let me know. We're thinking about bringing it onto our shop on Free Salon Education. So if that's something you think you would like, then let me know. Um, still using the YS Park 209 comb. Now going in with my Mizutani. Uh, this is the solid, the Blacksmith Fit Solid Scissor at a seven inch length. Um, the reason I like using seven inch length for scissor over comb is because it gives me uh, not more hair to cut. So I think a lot of people think of it as I can cut more hair at a time. You're not really doing that, but it gives me a longer reach to reach over the comb to allow me to have uh, easier access to that hair that's coming up. So seven inch Mizutani 
blacksmith fits solid. Now, if you're looking at getting a new scissor, you could check out freesaloneducation.com. Use the code MattBeckVlog. You get 20% off. The thing with the um, blacksmith fit solid is it has really small finger holes. I like that personally, but if you're somebody with really big fingers, then you might not like that scissor as much. Maybe go with a blacksmith fit uh, regular uh, scissor, but just get a longer length for that scissor over comb. So as I work across the top of the head, everything's coming straight out. So no over direction for the, the, basically the entire top of the head. Then when I get close to the forehead, that's when I'm gonna start to over direct it back. The other thing that I'm doing here is I'm blending it a little bit into the side. So you'll see me kind of rounding it off. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want it too disconnected. He's got really thick hair. So if he had fine hair, I'd probably go straight across the top. I wouldn't round off the sides of the corners like I am right there. But because he has thick, wavy hair, he's going to build up a lot quicker than somebody with fine, uh, thinner hair. So now we're going in with the Mizutani Type Z Dual Texture Scissor. Uh, the thing that's cool about this scissor is that there's no blade um, that gets in the way. So you go through, both sides of the blade are texturizers. So we go through, we just do a little bit of blending work there. We're going to do a little bit more on the top in a minute. This is the Donald Scott uh, Naked Blade um, straight blade basically. So I've been working with this a little bit. They sent it to me. We're thinking about carrying this on the shop as well. Let me know if you're interested in that. So I go through and just do the detail work around the edges. All right, the last thing that I'm gonna do is we're gonna go in with our Mizutani Type Z dual texture scissor. And this is really gonna create texture, take out weight. A lot of guys with this type of hair feel like it gets thick and bulky. So just going through doing some point cutting with the Type Z dual texture scissor. Uh, it's a really cool scissor for that. And now I'm gonna go through and work on my styling. Styling is really important with men's hair. I think a lot of guys don't take the time to do it. But if you think about it, if I put product in my wet hair, it's just gonna dilute the product and you won't get that hold all day. So we're gonna go in with the ADH Dry. This is uh, Andrew Does Hair product. He sent it to me, he's a good friend. Um, so I wanted to use it on the video. So a lot of you guys probably know who he is. If you don't follow at Andrew Does Hair on Instagram, you'll see some of his work and you can pick up his product as well. But we put the product in. His whole motto is good hair doesn't come from a jar. It's all about the style, all about the cut, really just creating that look, blowing it dry nice, and then just adding the product in to get that finishing touch. So hope you guys like this cut. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget, check out freesaloneducation.com. We have over 600 videos. Also, use that code MattBeckVlog at checkout. Get 20% off a lot of different products on our web store. And Make sure that you join our FSE Partner Program. That is a program where we do live classes for free for stylists. All you got to do is sign up. Go to fsepartner.com. You can sign up for that for free. You'll get the alerts about the live classes. And also, if you are not a stylist and you like this cut and you're looking for a new hair salon, go to our website, hairsalonlocator.com. That's where we put all of our FSE Partner Salons so that you guys can find a great stylist to create this look for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.